you sit down to solve a dsa problem you are motivated you tell yourself this time i would not look at the solution 5 minutes in you are drawing a few test cases 10 minutes in you are stuck 15 minutes still no clue then with that little guilt you scroll down and click view solution you tell yourself it is just to get a hint but you end up reading the whole thing maybe even copy pasting it and that becomes a pattern every single time it happened to me too i thought i was grinding i was solving problem after problem making progress but deep down i was not solving anything i was just scanning code written by someone else pretending i understood it and moving on at one point i had finished 100 questions but when i saw a slightly twisted version of an old problem in an interview i froze I had no idea how to approach it. I was not building logic. I was building a false sense of security. Most people treat DSA like a checklist, just finish 200 questions and you are done. We chase numbers, 75 blind questions, 150 lead code must do's, strivers seat. But here is the reality no one wants to admit. You can solve 500 questions and still not be good at DSA if you are not solving them the right way. It's not about quantity. It's about what your brain is doing during those questions. Are you actively thinking? Are you struggling? Are you connecting dots or are you just mechanically moving from one problem to the next high on false momentum? The truth is most of us avoid struggle like the plague. The moment a problem feels hard, we treat it as a sign of weakness. So we run to the solution. But here is the twist. That is struggle you avoid. That's where the logic is built. and if you skip it you are not training you are just watching you have probably heard people say don't look at the solution but let's be honest that advice is useless on its own because when you are stuck for 40 minutes what else are you supposed to do just suffer endlessly that's where i think most dsa advice fails it tells you what not to do but it never tells you how to actually learn better so let me break it down for you how to struggle smart not just suffer blindly first you need a rule the 45 minute rule give each problem a full 45 minutes of intentional effort during this time you do everything but do not dare read the solution you draw test cases you write brute force approaches you list what data structures are involved you try a dumb greedy strategy even if it sounds stupid you fail you try again that's where learning happens if you are still stuck go ahead peek at the first hint not the solution just the hint let your brain marinate in that idea and then try again If nothing works you can check the title of the editorial not the code if it says sliding window or two pointers fine use that as a seed idea think about how that concept might apply and if after all this you are still lost then and only then check the solution but even then you are not done because the second step is reflection and this is where 99% of people drop the ball they see a solution feel enlightened and move on big mistake Every time you solve a problem with or without help take 5 minutes to reflect what made this problem hard what concept unlocked it how would i recognize a similar problem in the future could i explain this solution to a friend from scratch this is where real understanding happens not in solving problems but in squeezing more out of each one and you would be surprised revisiting just 10 to 15 of these every week will make a huge difference you will not memorize but you will reinforce the patterns your brain will start picking up signals from the problems description themselves and that will only happen because you slowed down reflected and struggled the right way there's another mistake you can make early on jumping platforms too quickly one day i was doing youtube tutorials next day a random lead code contest and then trying to crack strivers sheet there was no system no foundation that's like trying to deadlift before learning how to stretch instead here is what actually will work first pick a good tutorial and follow along actively don't just watch solve the same question they solve but pause the video and try it yourself first then once you are confident with the basics move to a dsa sheet but with discipline not for the number but for the depth of understanding and let's talk about tools for a second especially chat gpt some people say don't use ai tools i say that's lazy advice the problem is not using chat gpt the problem is when you use it if you are pasting code into it before even trying then yeah you are killing your learning But if you try a full approach, debug it, and then use ChatGPT to compare, optimize, or explore other methods, that's a smart learning. Tools are not evil. Your habit decide if you grow or get dumber.
DSA is not about talent. It is about training. It's about how you think when you are stuck. Do you panic and quit? Or do you step back and break the problem down? The mindset is what interviews test, not your ability to solve a solution you saw last week. It took me months to understand this. I wasted so much time chasing fake progress. If I could go back, I would do fewer problems, but I would do each one like a mini project with full intention, full effort and full reflection. So if you are in that place right now, stuck in the solution loop, feeling dumb because you cannot build logic, stop. You are not dumb. You are just rushing through the wrong process. Slow down, struggle properly, reflect deeply, revisit smartly. Use tools responsibly and build your logic one problem at a time. And I'm sure if you do this right, there will come a day when you open a new question and instead of saying, I have no idea, you'll say, let me think. And that one shift, that's the real victory. That's it for the video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.